Now the next section, these are all auxiliary sends. Right here I've got my equalizing section up here. Now below that is a series of auxiliary sends. And each channel has an auxiliary 1, an auxiliary 2, an auxiliary 3 slash 4, an auxiliary 5, and an auxiliary 6. Now, there are two kinds of auxiliaries. There is an auxiliary that gets the signal before the fader gets the signal. And that's called a pre-fader auxiliary. And then there are auxiliary sends that get the signal after the fader gets the signal, and that's called a post-fader auxiliary. You use those auxiliaries for different reasons. The pre-fader auxiliary, which gets the signal before the fader, which means no matter what I do with this fader, once I set this auxiliary, I think it's this one down here, once I set this level on this auxiliary, this does not affect it at all. That level stays the same. That means that I would use that auxiliary to send to, to the headsets to the musicians that are playing. Because once I set their level, I don't want it to change because I moved the fader, because I'm going to be moving that around. I want to be able to set the headset level, and they hear it, and then they can play, and then I can do whatever I have to do without affecting that level again. Once they got their level, I should be able to leave it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my patch cable, and I'm going to take auxiliary 6, which is a pre-fader auxiliary, and I am going to patch it into the headset amp so that auxiliary 6 output goes into the headset amp, which feeds that plug on that panel, which we plug the headset box into and everybody plugs their headsets into, and they listen to out here while they play. My mix, I'm going to say, oh, you got enough, ba no, more drums, okay, uh, more bass, you want more piano, less of this, more of that. Oh, you're all set, you got your mix, they got their mix, they're done. But notice, this is a mix number one right here that you have on this console for the headsets. So that's your first mix. Because you got to send a blend out. And over here is auxiliary six master send right there. So that's the master of all of these here. You see that? So I have another whole mix here, and that's the master. So that's mix number one. That's going to your headsets. All right. Now let's come back up to this auxiliary number one right here. Auxiliary number one is a post-fader auxiliary. This gets the signal after the fader, unlike that auxiliary number six. Now, what I would do with that is I would send a post-fader auxiliary to a reverb unit. I would take and put it in a reverb unit because I might may have the piano might want to go into the reverb unit and maybe uh, the, the woodwinds might want to get a little reverb on them and maybe the brass might want just a crack of reverb. So I could send a blend, a mix, to the reverb unit. Not so much that I would like that it would start to sound too jumbly because you know it is reverberation and it tends to sound reverberated. <laughs> right? So, you know, you, you're listening to the output of that and you're sending your signals to that and then I would have a master over here on auxiliary one that would be the master of all that that's going to the reverb unit, correct? Well then that's another mix that you have going. So that's another mix, another blend. Okay, now this button right down here under auxiliary one can push that and make auxiliary one pre-EQ so that this gets the signal even before the equalizer gets it. Not just before the fader, but before the equalizer and the fader. And I can then make that, use that if I need another headset mix. Maybe I want to send a second headset mix out so that the singer needs one headset mix and the drummer needs a different headset mix because he has to hear different things and she needs to hear different things. So I have the selection. I can push the button, say pre or post. Now auxiliary two is a post fader auxiliary automatically and it has a pre fader button. 
which would be after the uh, after the EQ, but pre fader. So I have that choice with that auxiliary, right? So now this auxiliary right here, which says three slash four, uh, is either auxiliary three or four. That's your switch button. It'll be either auxiliary three or auxiliary four. This way they can give us six auxiliaries, but th this one is the selection between three and four. So if I if this bass needs to go to auxiliary four, then this instrument goes there. Or if this instrument needs to go to auxiliary three, then this instrument goes there. You have that choice. Then auxiliary five is a dedicated pre-fader auxiliary with a post button. And auxiliary six is a dedicated a pre-fader auxiliary that's just dedicated. This post button is for auxiliary five. Auxiliary six is dedicated uh, pre-fader. So you use that one first for your headsets, you know. Then you have choices with the other ones.